I love architecture, I love art. Uh, photography allows me to bring all those things together and preserve what's here. That Fox Valley woman says it's her way to give back by photographing churches in Northeast Wisconsin. She then provides each church with her professional photos for free. Tonight in Small Towns, Jeff Alexander tagged along with her on one of her recent shoots in Menasha. The steeple of St. Mary's Catholic Church has towered above Menasha for 154 years. And while it hasn't been that long, photographer Tracy Van Zeeland has had a project in the back of her mind that she's wanted to do. For a very, very long time. And her motivation. I am a very firm believer in Jesus. At the beginning of this year, Tracy launched what she calls her church photography project with a mission to photograph area churches and then provide the church with a framed photo. St. Mary's is her 20th so far. This is gorgeous. This is on par with what you'd see in Italy or Germany. People that did this are obviously artisans and definitely loved what they did. Growing up in Little Shoot and Appleton, Tracy discovered her love for photography in high school. When I was 15, I got a, my grandfather's camera which the meter didn't work and it was film. So to say that it was expensive would be an understatement because everything was an experiment and guessing. And back then it was hard to learn stuff. You know, we didn't have YouTube, blah, blah. And so, you know, I joined the high school photo club. After graduating, Tracy attended St. Norbert College, earning a degree in communications, English, and theater. She then worked for a local television station in productions, but eventually... Decided to go back to what I really enjoyed doing. Tracy went back to school to study photography, and in 2000 took a leap of faith. Ironically, in 94, I first started photographing weddings under Milt Kinney for a summer. And I'd heard a rumor that he was for sale, and on my way home from work one day, I called him up, and 15 days later, I owned it. So far, Tracy's church project has taken her to communities like Appleton, Kakana, Darboy, and Black Creek, to name a few. She came across one church with a deep personal connection. My maternal grandmother, um, when she was in the nursing home, she told me about a stained glass window that her grandmother had donated or something. And um, I don't know why, but I just never really pursued it. She said it was in a little church north of Appleton. And because of this project, I was able to find that stained glass window. It's at St. Mary's in Black Creek. And while in that church, I also found one of the Stations of the Cross from the other side of the family that was donated. Tracy's shoots take about a half hour and she's constantly on the move. Let me do this one because it'll be the same lighting as the other one. Look at Michael, I love him. And when she leaves the church, her work is far from over. So obviously the sun's coming from over there and it's shining right in there. So I have to tone it down and then in post-production, I'll put that in so you can see clearly what the stained glass is. When learning about Stacy's offering, we just said, Tracy, come on over, we'd like, love to have you. St. Mary's jumped at the opportunity. When people can get interested into the church um, and the beauty of churches, especially the way society is today, of trying to take God out of um, everything, this is something that she can bring Christ back into everybody's lives and show the beauty of the church and what it represents. Along with giving the church her photos, members can also purchase images, with 10% of the proceeds going back to the church. A nice idea in theory. People are like, oh, this is all about you making money. I'll be frank, a lot of money's been going out. <laughs> Nothing has come in. Uh, most people just don't think to get a picture of their church to hang in their house. It's just not something people do these days. And that's okay, Tracy says, because while her project may not be a boon to business, that is amazing. It's mighty good for her soul. Tracy says she'll continue photographing churches as long as there's interest, and she's hoping this story will inspire more churches to give her a call, allowing her to offer them her gift. In Menasha with photojournalist Michael Bergman, I'm Jeff Alexander for Small Towns.
She certainly has an eye for it. Beautiful pictures. I hardly believe some of those churches are in our neck of the woods. Right, we have some beautiful churches yeah, here. Absolutely. Yeah. Keep up the great